Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. In this video, I will demonstrate how we can achieve a much wider um, reverb effect on our vocals or our instruments. We normally, when we record a vocal or a microphone uh, instrument, we normally want to record it in mono, unless it's a stereo instrument. Now, uh, especially I'm going to demonstrate with my vocal that I used uh, in my previous video. And um, this vocal already has the channel strip that I demonstrated previously. So let's have a quick listen to what my uh, vocal sounds like uh, dry as is. Say you, say me, say it for always, that's the way it should be. Right, so that's my vocal, very dry and um, very dull. To add some effects, we can add our mixed verb to give some reverb effect. There's lots of um, sort of, um, you know, already default options in there. You know, we can say uh, vocals, um, big, and see how that sounds. And we can always adjust um, its uh, setting. So let's have a listen with some reverb on my vocals. Say you, say me, say it for always, that's the way it should be. Now, that is okay, but uh, I might adjust uh, some of its um, uh, uh, dampness, it's too dull. Um, I might give a little bit more uh, pre to... Uh, what, what the pre does is, it uh, doesn't start any reverb feedback uh, until about this many milliseconds. So usually for this one, I'll just say, you know, 30 around uh, millisecond. You can calculate, depending on of, of your tempo of your song, you can calculate what's a good uh, pre um, for that. So in the room, you know, I'm just going to make it about 60%. Um, dampness, that means it's uh, how the reverb sounds, whether if it's a dull, damp, and dull and muddy, or a bright one. So the less you have, the brighter it is, the more damp you have, the duller it is, um, depending what effect you, you want after it. And the mix, uh, probably a bit too much there. I might actually have about, um, you know, 14, 15%. So let's have a quick listen. Say you, say me, say it for always. That's the way it should be. Ah, that sounds not bad. Say you, say me, say it together naturally. Now that's all good. But it's very still dull because it's right in the middle. Doesn't have any 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 space. Doesn't have um, you know any ambience into the into the, into into my vocals into the reverb. Now one way to overcome, even though we have recorded um, our vocals in mono, we can still click this button here. Says so channel mode, mono or stereo. Now. The river becomes stereo. Our wide is available as well. So let's have a listen. How much difference will that make to our vocals? Say you, say me, say it for always. That's the way it should be. Say you, say me, say it together naturally. Say you. Say me, say it for always, that's the way it should be. So now um, our vocal is right in the middle, but the reverb it is spread out. Now this, I even had to turn the mix down because the reverb was still too much for my ear. And you can, it's up to taste, you know, um, you can adjust the mix how you want it, whether the end size as well. But you can see how my vocal stands out right in the middle, right to your face, where the reverb, it just gives a little bit of ambience in the background and it doesn't overpower the vocal. So let's have a quick listen and I'm going to adjust the width and uh, it's just like turning in the, into a mono and stereo. So that's the stereo width. So let's have a listen again. Say you, say me. Say it for always, that's the way it should be. Say you, say me, 
say it together naturally. Well, now you know how you can achieve much wider stereo uh, reverb for your vocals, even though you have recorded it in mono. And I would highly recommend vocals um, to be recorded in mono, bass guitars and things like that. Whatever is a, a single instrument, you should record it in mono, electric guitars as well. Sometimes acoustic guitars, to get a really nice uh, control, you can use two microphones um, to give you that stereo effect. Um, and, you know, one on the neck and one into the uh, hole. Um, but majority of the times you'll be recording it in mono, plus you save a lot of disk space anyway. But as you're mixing your vocals into the track, you can turn into stereo and give much wider um, vocals into uh, the mix as such. So I hope this was informative enough for you. And if you like this tip, give me the thumbs up. That way I know uh, you, uh, you liked it uh, and it was helpful for you. And if you have any comments regarding this video, feel free to comment below and I'm more than happy to answer any queries you might have. And by the way, this was done with Personas Studio One version 3 Prime, the free download version of the software, in case you were wondering. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. You're most welcome to. That way you'll be kept up to date with any new videos that I actually create. And if you haven't visited my website, that's recordingstudio9.com and also on my Facebook page as well. Just for search for Recording Studio 9. And I'll think ne until next time, thanks for watching. Make sure you create uh, lots of lovely music and songs. Until next time, see you. Bye-bye.